All right, I'm Sean Gruner. I'm going to show you how to tie my commando hopper. What we're going to do is we're going to start out thread right behind the eye of the hook. Just get it anchored in. I'm going to take our 550 cord eyeballs that we just melted the ends off. Set it on. Give it a couple nice firm wraps just to keep it from wanting to spin around the hook. And we're just going to take it and rotate it. Now we're going to come in behind them to where our thread is going in an X shape. Again, these wraps you want to be fairly firm. Sorry if my fingers are in the way. But that will make our eyes stand out per perpendicular to the hook. Just give it a few wraps behind and we're going to go ahead and half hitch it because we're going to take the hook out of the vise now. Alright, I have my hopper body that I made out of a uh, sleeping mat. Uh, go ahead and drop hook out of the vise. Now all I do is I uh, measure until I have just a little bit of tail sticking off the back of the hook and then I go up and I mark that point right behind my eyes with my thumbnail leave my thumbnail there and I'm just going to run the hook straight through the center of that maybe it's going to fight me now because I'm trying to do it on video <laughs> alright tail stays on top. We're going to go ahead and put it back in the vise now. Now we're going to take our copper wire. We're going to stick it into the butt of the grasshopper right in the center. And just get it in as deep as you can without it uh, coming through the the side of the hook, or the side of the body rather. And take a pinch it and bend it over flat. And then again, just pinch it over. And this will allow you to wrap the body. You don't want to wrap it too tight. You want to just wrap it tight enough that it gets kind of a round shape to it and it, it segments the body off. And you go ahead and this is what's going to secure it to the shank of the hook. Again, not real tight. You don't want to squish the foam down. Just segment the body off nice and even. And then once you get right behind the eyes, give it a good tight wrap. Now this extra that's sitting under, you pull it tight and catch it on the eye of the hook. And then just kind of rub your thumbnail across it a few times until the eye of the hook pokes through the foam. And that's what's going to make our head. I'm going to go ahead and start our thread back in right behind the eyes. This is going to be our anchor point for everything else in this fly is right behind the eyes. Pull our head back over, pull it down tight, secure it real good, and snip off the extra. Now we're going to take our wax thread legs. All I did is took some heavy wax thread, put an overhand knot in it right here in the center, and melted it at either end. It gives it a little ball. That way, if it catches on something, your uh, your legs won't come out, and it also keeps them from fraying.
All right, got both of our legs anchored in good. Now we're going to go ahead and put in our marker. This is PT strap, just reflective belt. You can get it at the, the PX or the shop at or wherever. And we're going to cut just a little sliver of it, maybe, oh, a sixteenth of an inch thick. Doesn't have to be perfect or anything. And we're going to fold it over, reflective side out. that right behind the eyes just right on top give it a few wraps fold it forward give it just a few wraps to help it stand up that way we can see it when the flies floating in the water now we're going to take our olive grizzly hackle Anchor it in again, right behind the eyes. And this hackle's long enough that I don't need the hackle pliers. But we're just going to do a couple wraps right in, right behind the eyes, and then a couple wraps right behind our marker. Bring it right back up behind the eyes and secure it. Now everything on this fly is going to want to twist and turn because it never gets secured hard to the, the shank of the hook except for right here behind the head. But it's easily mendable with just a quick twist here and there and it's ready to rock and roll. Okay, now just pull your hackle back so it doesn't get caught up. Give it a few good wraps. And I don't have my whip finisher, so I'm just going to go ahead and half hitch this one off. Quick snip. Take our legs. Now this thread is stiff enough that it will hold its shape but not so stiff that it's going to impede a fish from getting hooked up. Of course I'm trying not to get my fat fingers in the way here. It's fighting me. And you just take your legs, pull them back, pinch them over, and that is the commando hopper.